I can't even imagine the rights they have to like control everything on E on Hulu. I mean, other but it works. So who cares really? Yeah, a hundred percent. I love it. What about that? Like, do you think, cause like people know, I mean, I'm not saying it's fake, but people know, like even with housewives, you have to walk in and enter three times, you know, never one's calling you on your cell phone. You're not just picking up like, so it is, you know, situationally scripted, but yet we, we lose sight of that and we still buy it. Like, do you think there's a time when reality TV will just be gone? Like we're all kind of in on how it works, but yet we forget that when we're watching, right? Never. I really believe unscripted television in general is going to stay. I think it's going to get bigger. I think we'll see more celebrities playing along. I think we'll have more spoofs on reality. I think it's just going to continue to grow and the industry is just going to get bigger. It started out like where it was such a wild west project and it was just, you know, the whole industry, nobody really knew what, what was going to happen. Where was it going? And now it's taken, it's, had so many changes since 2000 that I think it's just going to continue to grow. And I, I hope it does. I mean, it keeps me in, in you know, working and employed. <laughs> Did you see that? Like the CW was like going script. It was going unscripted. Like I did. Yeah. I think. And that's interesting because also they have now that like Fox reality and friends or whatever they're, so they're bringing stuff back where it was, you know, I, I think they had Fox reality and then they took it away and then now they're bringing it back because people, we love it. You feel, you relate more to people that you feel like are more real, right? So obviously I love scripted shows. I love the stories the script or, you know, actors tell, but there's something different about, it's something special about an unscripted story and how we learn about people and characters. And you look at like Netflix, I mean, I'm sorry, Selling Sunset, phenomenal. Selling the OC, phenomenal. Okay. Bling Empire, phenomenal. Like yeah. My Unorthodox Life, yeah. phenomenal. It's like they're killing it. I know, killing it. I mean, yeah, and you're right, Bling Empire, oh man, so good. Phenomenal. <laughs> I love I, that show so much. I haven't watched the New York oh. version with Dorothy Wang, but I mean, I, I love my Dorothy oh my God, Wang. So good. And listen, like the outfits, I die for. Like the f I watch, my husband's like, why are you watching this? I'm like, honestly, right now I'm watching for the fashion. But like, <laughs> it's just so good. And then like, I started watching Dubai Bling and it's so good. Like, I just love, yeah, the Netflix reality is really fun. Um, The Perfect Match, I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's so bad. Like, I would never want to be matched with those guys, but like, it's so good. It's so fun to watch. It's so good. I have to watch Dubai Blinks. Like, a lot of people have told me to watch it. I just haven't got that's on my list too. And even buying Beverly Hills, I'm like, I love the real estate shows. They're, but Selling Sunset to me is in a class of itself. Yeah. Do you think like Survivor, The Bachelor, Housewives, like, do you think these shows, I mean, these shows have been around forever. Like, do you think they'll ever be, look, we don't have the real world anymore. Things change. Yeah. They Will do. there be a day where like Survivor and The Bachelor are just gone? I mean, that's okay, right? Uh, no, there will never be a day. <laughs> and it won't be okay. Um, I don't think they'll ever get rid of Survivor. I think Survivor for CBS is a staple. It's CBS is known for Survivor. You know, it's become, CBS has become that kind of brand, right? Because of Survivor. So I don't think they'll ever get rid of a Survivor. I don't know about Amazing Race or Big Brother, but I think for me, Survivor is going to be around forever. Like, and I can't imagine someone else besides Jeff Probst hosting it, but ev eventually they're going to have to. Um, the Housewives, I think they'll just make, you know, keep putting in new people and keep recycling. Like, Lala, she's for sure going to be on Housewives soon, right? I mean, she's for sure. Like, I could see Sheena being on Housewives. I don't know. Like, that would be interesting. Um, but I think they'll just keep recycling people, bringing in new people, bringing in people, putting them in different spots. Um, and look, how popular is like Summer House that we now have Winter House? Like we make a joke. We're like, are we going to get an autumn and a spring house? Like, I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> people love it. And the, well, there's, I forgot what it was called. It's in Martha's Vineyard. They're doing an all black cast. It's already shot from Bravo. Yeah. It's an all black cast of like a summer house. I like forgot what it's called, right? but it's yeah. like Martha's it's, Vineyard. It's so good. And so they'll just keep doing shows like that. I mean, I think it's just going to be like, they'll bring in new cast, they'll bring in new fun people, you know, like Southern Charm even. They're like, started off with the spinoff of Southern Charm. And I feel like they'll just keep doing more fun spinoffs and we'll keep watching and, you know.
do you as we wrap up do you would you ever be a housewife you mentioned sheena and lala what about you i mean i know you don't Ah. live in la or new york or salt lake or any of these places but you know we can change that i know right well i you know my husband is now a doctor so and he has like full-time work so i'm like married to medicine maybe i don't know (laughs) but yes i would love to be a housewife are you kidding me i would bring it bring my couture outfits. I have great storylines. Yeah, no, I would love to. I would love to be on any of the Bravo shows. I really want, I keep, that's what I'm saying. Like I need to get on a docu-follow. I feel like as much as I don't want to, it's hard to be a older competition queen because these, then I'm competing against kids in their twenties. And it's just like, damn, they're faster. They're stronger. They're better looking like, you know, (laughs) It gets, it gets. What about it's how, tired. speaking of Bravo, what did you think of the reunion hosted by Andy? How, how is he oh at the God, Traders? Was, oh, that was just on my bucket list of life. Andy Cohen, at, meeting Andy Cohen was up there, but like having him host a reunion that I'm part of was the most epic thing I could have ever, ever imagined. And I was, I was like, telling the executives at Peacock I was like thank you you made my bucket list like thank you this is so cool it was just such a cool I mean just meeting him and he's so fun I I couldn't even put in words how I feel it's just like such a cool experience you're sitting there and you're like how is this my life right now I mean you've been on so many shows but still to be at a reunion hosted by Andy it's like you can give me shade you can tell me to stop talking whatever you want just do it (laughs) exactly literally what else is next for you? You're working on this show, Golden Bachelor, but any, anything else you're working on? Anything else you want to plug? Your Arkansas, you said you have some comedy coming up. Yes, I'm, I have, the, I'm doing this like comedy tour. Well, it's not a tour, it's just local, but a festival, I guess. And then I have like a fashion show I'm doing this summer with my own designs. This will be my second year of doing the fashion show uh, as a designer, which wow. is super fun. Um so I'm just trying to like work on myself creatively and, uh, you know, maybe there's a network that will notice and want to put me on something else. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I don't think we've seen the last of you on our TV screens. Yeah. I was one of the ones that always loved you, even from you and Janelle. Listen, what, what self-respecting gay man does not love a Janelle or a Rachel Riley? Come on. Like, I, I don't know what your other fans are, but I would assume a lot of the gays are huge fans of yours. That's just my assumption. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. And I appreciate it so much. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, that that reunion outfit alone. Come on now. Thank you. Right. And it was so true. I literally designed it together. I was like, this, it has to look like I needed the big giant bow. I wanted the cape. I wanted the drama. Like, and that I, you can't really tell on TV, but that whole lace thing was totally see-through. And I was like, I want to be dare 